Washington, D.C. is my home away from home. I've worked here for the better part of three decades as a founder entrepreneur, policy expert, and author. Probably the longest title. Um, everybody sort of shortened it to ONC for sanity's Merci- sake. Mercifully. Yeah, mercifully. I've learned leadership secrets from many healthcare executives who understand that Washington is the largest payer and regulator of healthcare. She said, well, because you'll never get a husband if you do that. <laughs> I began interviewing healthcare leaders many years ago because what better way to learn how they think, why they make it to the top, and how they remain there. Think about what was your most challenging engagement? Healthcare has been the most difficult problem. <laughs> Let me just say that. We'll talk about that later. At Think Medium, we create personalized insights for healthcare leaders as we explore the new health economy on The Gary Bisbee Show and her story, we've reinforced our belief that healthcare is brimming with new entrants and innovation. And behind many innovations is a founder, a person with ambition, goals, dreams, and wisdom to share. So we're excited to announce that we're launching a new show on November 16th called Day Zero. Day Zero is dedicated to widening our insights to learn more about the journey, leadership, and impact of founders. In honor of our new show, we compiled advice from three founders who have each founded multiple companies and who we've previously interviewed. It's a sample of what to expect on Day Zero. First is Aaron Martin, Executive Vice President and Chief Digital Officer of Providence and Managing Partner of Providence Ventures. We'll then hear from Todd Cousins, founder and managing partner of Transformation Capital. Next up is Lynn Chow O'Keefe, founder and managing partner of Defined Ventures. Let's begin with Aaron. When you're kind of starting a business, um, a lot of the work is just the basic block and tackling of putting the infrastructure in place, trying to generate demand, you know, getting customers to use the platform. So there's a lot of signal to noise issues. And so I think knowing a lot of that upfront matters. And then also, you know, go to a place like, you know, like, like an Amazon or you know, a, a big organization like Providence, which is great around um, teaching you know, the servant leadership, you know, ideas, go somewhere where you can really learn uh, leadership, uh, work for a great startup leader, um, but but I think the leadership piece is 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 and, and the management piece is really um, helpful before you go and raise money and before you go start a business. Um, I'm all about kind of you know preparation and you know and, and getting ready for that because um, I cringe all the time about like some of the decisions I made in my first startup. You know that I you know had I had I done it in a different sequence, I would have been like, oh, that's like a no brainer. Don't do that, right? Aaron reminds us that it's okay to make mistakes. However, it's more efficient to have business acumen up front rather than having to learn from your mistakes. Next, we'll hear Todd Cousins' advice for early stage entrepreneurs. First of all, you know, make sure that you're really solving a needed problem. And I would say, you know, in your early days, uh, you may have a great idea. I would get out there and talk to who your prospective customers might be, will be. I would, you know, if you're selling a new value-based care analytics tool, you know, I would get into every aspect of what that means. Uh, you know, and I would talk to People at payers that are still, you know, talk to the CFO of the hospital who's probably still got a huge dependency on fee for service. Uh, I would talk to caregivers uh, in in ICUs, oncology departments, etc. Understand, you know, really the problems that they're experiencing every day. Uh, if you know, and 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 get a lot of, you know, advisors around you that really understand this, this space. I've seen the most successful engineers, or I'm sorry, entrepreneurs in this space are, are sponges for that type of information. Todd emphasizes the importance of seeking different perspectives to inform innovation. Let's turn back to Aaron Martin, who highlights an important characteristic of successful entrepreneurs seeking the truth. Where you see startups fail a lot is, you know, 
it's one thing to fail quickly and not burn a ton of money. Like that is like pardonable all the time. It's, it's a lot harder to kind of fail and burn a ton of money because you kind of keep telling yourself and investors a story that's just not true. Right. And, and in some cases, you know, to their defense, the data is ambivalent, but in a lot of cases it's clear. It's just that you just don't want to kind of wake up and smell the coffee and you figure you're going to, you're going to figure it out along the way and find the, the real opportunity. Right. That truth seeking, I think is absolutely critical for, uh, for, for CEOs. And if you look at our portfolio, um, that is a commonality across all of our CEOs, which is, you know, in every conversation, they're very fact-based and they're very trying to focus on what is the truth about, you know, the gravitational pull that is going to ultimately end up in, you know, kind of healthcare moving in this direction or that direction. To wrap up, we'll give you a sneak peek of what you'll hear on day zero from Lin Chow O'Keefe. It was my point about having the idea and then it just takes over your whole vision and viewpoint and, and the need and that, that point of that palpability of like, we have to do this now, we have to execute faster, we have to learn from the past but create our own vision of the future. And as the founder and the creator, you just, it is everything and you can never turn it off. It is always on and it's always about how do we build to the next level, to the next level and bring the vision to a reality. And every part of the way, and it's so funny how people can congratulate you along the way. Like, you know, people say, oh, wow, you've raised three funds. And I go, no, this is just the beginning. Like, can't you see it? This is so big. It's so all encompassing. And maybe I'll never get to the point and, and Suchi, it sounds like for you too, where we'd pat ourselves on the back, like there's just yet another thing as our bi- our vision grows and expands uh, to what we believe it, it could be. And I think this is why we are all here is because we, we want to redefine healthcare. We want the vision of healthcare to change. And we feel like this utmost responsibility, it has to be done now. This is our time. Founders are driven not by how the world is, but by how they believe the world could be. They're truly a source of passion and inspiration. On day zero, you'll hear the engaging voices of founders as they tell their stories from their perspectives and in their own words. We hope you'll join us and we look forward to your feedback and suggestions.